Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, before I start, shout out to Shopco for having super cute glasses. I just got these, and I'm, like, obsessed with them. I can't wait for summer to come. Uh, I know they're, they're a lot bigger than what I'm used to. My sunglasses that I always wear are right here, and they're a lot smaller on my face than the ones that I just had on. But I thought they were super cute. They're, like, pink and... I don't know. They're, like pink and brown and gold and it looks like snake skin but it's really not snake skin and then they have these little gems up in the corners I don't know I thought they were super cute and so I thought I would give you give them a shout out I guess um as you know from my previous video that it is Thursday which means it's video day and since I also made a video a while ago about my lip piercing and it's feeling so much better and it, I switched it to a stud because it really hurt with the hoop. But because of, you know, my lip feeling better, I figured, why not make a video of all the lip colors that I have? Because I didn't really know what to talk about today. It's pretty rainy and gloomy, so nothing exciting really has happened. Um, and I'm going out tonight to a little festival thing on at my school. I think the band Real Big Fish is going to be there. Um along with like other caricature people and you know it's just kind of like a going away from school event so yeah <laughs> um i know doing different lip colors is kind of random but i figured it's gonna be summer soon and i need to figure out which colors that i need to get for summer because you can't be looking all dark in the middle of summer Anyway, uh, I am wearing very dark clothing. I have black on black on black pants. So, yeah, I'm very dark today. But, anyway, let's get on with the lip colors, shall we? Uh, I have my makeup case right here. And all the lip colors that I have are going to be in here. Um, I do have a baby lips um, that I think I hauled before. And it's like a corally color, but it's in my backpack. But there's no really pigmentation to it anyway, so that's just a lip color kind of lip product. Um, so, yeah, let's get this started. Um, the first color that I use all the time is this Revlon Lip Butter. It's in the color Creamsicle. Um, it's just like a peachy color. I always use it as like a nude I have like literally this much left of the stick um, because I use it literally all the time. Um, but yeah, it's just like a peachy color. I love the Revlon lip butters. I have a bunch of them, which might as well just do those first because I have the most of those. So yeah, these are all my these are all my lip butters, but there's a lot of them. So we'll take the creamsicle one out because we just did that one. Um, then the next kind of in relation to that one is this one called Juicy Papaya, which I think is going to be my summer color for, of lip butter, but it keeps melting on me. I can't put it on without it getting really creamy and chunky, but it's like a darker corally color, but I really like it. It just is really chunky on my lip. Like it, pieces come off when I put it on, which is weird, but maybe it'll be different by the time summer comes. Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> that was the corniest thing ever. Um, then I have this one. This was my first lip butter I ever got. It's in the color Strawberry Shortcake, and it's like a pink, it's like a Barbie pink color. Um, that was the first one I've ever gotten. I still really like it, but I don't really wear that much bright pink that this would be, like, acceptable. So, yeah. Um, this was, I got this one at the same time that I got the strawberry shortcake one. This one, oh god, it's on my hand. Okay. This one is called Peach Parfait. And this is more of a natural one. Like, I wear this if I'm going somewhere where I have to be, like fancy or like not bright and colorful and it's all my lip butters are all messed up why is that um but it's like a 
sparkly, peachy color. I don't really know how else to describe it. Like a mauve. I don't know. I don't even know what mauve is. What am I talking about? And then I have these two reds. One's darker than the other one. This one I got first. It's candy apple. And this one is like a bright, you know, fire engine red lip. And I've I've never had like a red lip before I got this one. I've never had a red lipstick because my mom used to buy makeup for me and she used to be like, you don't need red lips. What are you talking about? But I love this one. And I just, this is the most recently purchased one. This is in the color Red Velvet. And I just recently hauled this one. And it's just a dark, sexy blood red color. But... It's dark and sexy and great. I love it. Um, definitely a more wintry color than a summer one. But if the outfit calls for it, you gotta use it. It's my logic. Um, so yeah, so then I just have this one MAC lipstick. I'm in love with it. It feels so good when I put it on my lips. And it actually smells really good too. It smells like cotton candy. Um, but this is the MAC Viva Nikki 2. This is like Nicki Minaj's lips product. And it's like a really light, almost white, purpley lavender color. And it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. I don't know if it's supposed to, but the, it does. And the packaging is like adorable. It looks like a little bullet. And it's just... Everything about this is just so cute. I just love it so much. I actually think I might be wearing this tonight. Um, but yeah, and then I also have one, well actually no, I have two Maybelline Color Whispers. Um, this was the first one I got. It's in the color Mocha Muse. The whispers are really light, so you need to you need to be able to swatch them at the store because they're really light. This is just a nude color. Um, it goes with anything. If I don't know what color to wear, I'll just go with this nude. Like, especially if I do, like, a bold eye. Like, you know, I don't want to have, like, a bold eye and then bold lips, too. So I usually just go with the nude color after that. And then I also have this one, which I just got. I, there's barely any use out of it. It's in the color Coral Ambition. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, and it's just, like, a really light orangey color, kind of like pinky orange, coral color. The lighting's not too great, but I, trust me, I'm describing them how they are. And then the last ones, um, are these, I think these are all Maybelline, but two of them are the Vivids and one of them are, isn't. So, as you can see, the packaging kind of sucks on the Maybelline lipsticks because you don't know which color, like the two Vivids are on the outside and they, their packaging is just bright red and then the middle one is like a maroon color or a brown even though none of them are the colors that they are, or that the packaging is. So you have to really look at the labels on the bottom to know what color is what. Um, we'll start with the brownish one first because the Vivids are the fun ones. Uh, this one is in the color Coral Crush. I had actually heard about this on a Least Bug video. Um, it was one of her favorites, and so I picked it up, and I really do like it. It's really bright. Um, it's like a corally color. Um, yeah, she said it was one of her favorites. I haven't used it a lot yet, but it's going to probably be my summer color. So hopefully when summer comes, more of this gets used. Um, and then the two vivids, which I love, and I just, I wasn't, when I bought these, I wasn't sure if I would love them, but I love them so much. Um, <clears throat> I got two colors that I didn't really think that I would like. I got one that I maybe would wear, and then another one that I wasn't sure of. They did have, like, oranges and bright reds, but I wasn't too sure. Like, I don't need a red, because I had the lip butter. And then the orange, I was like, hmm, I don't know. So I got these two colors. One of them is in Vivid Rose, which is this one, and it's a bright, hot pink. It's a hot pink color, and it is just... Here, let me swatch it a little bit. It's really bright, super pink, it's really pigmented. 
I love it so much. But the one, I haven't worn the Vivid Rose as much as I've worn the Brazen Berry, which is the next one. And it's a purple color. Let me swatch it first for you. Well, this is what it looks like without the swatching. Um, it's just purple. I've never really owned a bright purple lip before besides this. Um, so I was really excited to pick this up. And this is what it looks like. It's the one right above the pink. So it's also super pigmented, super bright, and it's just really just great. I don't know. I just like to feel bold, I guess, So sometimes in my makeup. So with these colors, I can be just super bold. But, yeah, I do have other lip colors that I never wear, so I'm not really going to review them unless you guys request me to. Um, but, yeah, leave a comment down below which one... You know, which lip color you have that is your favorite. Um, I do also have a lot of, like, chapsticks and colors that I don't really wear. But, yeah, that's my lip colors. Uh, like I said, like up for... Oh, look at the swatches. <laughs> like up in, if you like the video. And leave down below any comments or things you want to see in my, like, other videos. Because... As of right now, like I said, my life isn't really that exciting. It's just, you know, finals week and stuff. So there's nothing really happening that is really like, oh my gosh, let's vlog about it. So leave down, sorry, I'm just putting everything away. Uh, leave down below any things you want to see. And until next time, I will see you on Tuesday. Bye, guys.